Hi, this is Carla Nix, and I have another word of inspiration for you today. I just want to remind you that no matter what you're going through, there's a reason. And these are two P's that God has laid on my heart, that there is a purpose in the pain. There's purpose in the pain. You know, we go through things and we wonder why. Why am I hurting like this? Why do I have to experience this? But the tragedy would be to go through something and never learn anything uh, from it. You know, not know why you went through it. But there is purpose in the pain. Pain does what? Think about pain in your body. It alerts you that something is wrong. Something is off. It alerts you. It makes you aware. It certainly lets you feel. And the same thing in life. We need to be alerted, we need to be made aware, and we need to feel. So while while you're going through this, think about it. What am I to learn? What's the lesson? Never walk away without getting the lesson. And once you get the lesson, you know, manifest it, implement it. Put it to use. Don't just learn something and, and disregard it. You learned it for a reason. There's a reason that it happened. So remember, when you're hurting, when things aren't going right, when everything just seems to go wrong and you wonder why, there's a reason. Sometimes it's not even for you. It's for you to bless somebody else. It's for you to uh, help somebody else. But you have to experience it. If you don't experience, you don't know what it feels like and you cannot help them. You cannot speak from experience. So there is purpose in the pain. But the thing is that you you should seek God, pray and ask him to reveal to you what it is he wants you to learn from this and what lesson it is for you. It may, you know, it may be something you might not need for years, but there's a purpose in your pain. So be encouraged, uh, stay in the word, continue to pray, and just trust God and have faith that everything is going to work out. Again, this is Carla Y. Nixon. I hope you're enjoying your day. God bless you. He loves you.